This is Chlamydomonas. It's a tiny single-celled green alga which is considered by many to be the rising star of biology. Among the many qualities it has, what makes it my personal favourite lab critter are these. Flagella or cilia, the two terms are interchangeable for the most part. Long, whip-like structures. Glammy uses these to pull itself forward and to sense the world around it and to find food and to find a mate and to, well, to mate. So clearly, cilia are very important organelles. And this importance is not limited to clammy. Not at all. In fact, almost all cells in our body have at least one cilium. What is more, the basic architecture of cilia in humans is very, very, very similar to cilia in other species, including clammy. And they are useful to us for pretty much the same reasons as they are to clammy. They help us move things around our body, help our cells interact with other cells around them, pass on signals, and, in the case of sperm cells, to mate. Defects in cilia in humans can lead to some very serious symptoms. Mental retardation, lung disorders, reproductive disorders, obesity, kidney cysts, and urinary defects to name just a few. And so it's very important to understand exactly how cilia work. Now, cilia are incredibly complex. Incredibly. If you were to make a cilium out of Lego blocks, it would have more than 3,000 pieces. These building blocks, or proteins, are constantly being produced in the cell. And once produced, they have to be transported to the cilia where they need to assemble in the correct order and then they need to coordinate with each other to function properly. This entire process is intricately orchestrated and small faults can throw off the entire machinery. This elaborate puzzle of where and how the pieces come together and how they function together is what our lab studies. And so for this project, we'll focus on two particular pieces. One is called reptin and the other is called PF22. We have reason to believe that these two are important parts of the puzzle. What we want to do now is to produce large quantities of these two proteins using some pretty cool cloning and biochemistry techniques. Once we have the proteins, we can mix them together and see how they fit with each other. This sort of direct way of studying how two proteins interact is not just cool, but is also crucial to understanding the dynamics of cilia assembly and function. This is where you come in. We need your help in our quest to solve this puzzle. In appreciation of your support, we have devised a system of rewards as tokens of our gratitude. Please take a moment to review these. We'd be more than happy to answer any questions about our work that you may wish to ask. And with that, we'd like to thank you, wonderful netizens, for your generosity and your patronage of the sciences. Thank you.